Born in 1967, Kathleen Folbig had a traumatic start to life. Her father stabbed her mother to death before her second birthday. She was then adopted in Newcastle and at 18 met Craig Folbig. They married in 1987 and two years later had their first of four children, baby Caleb. But at just 19 days old, Caleb was found dead in his bassinet. Two years later, their son Patrick died at eight months old. In 1993, their daughter Sarah died at 10 months old. Then, more than five years after that, their second daughter Laura died at 18 months old. In April 2001, Ms Folbig was charged with four counts of murder, accused of smothering all of her children. She always maintained her innocence, claiming they died of natural causes. At her 2003 trial, the prosecution claimed Ms Folbig's private diary entries were admissions of guilt. The entries included, what scares me the most will be when I'm alone with the baby and obviously I'm my father's daughter. Ms Folbig was found guilty of the murders of Patrick, Sarah and Laura and the manslaughter of Caleb. She was sentenced to 30 years jail with a non-parole period of 25 years. Her husband believed she was their killer. My most humble thanks go to 12 people who I've never formally met, who today share the honour of having set four beautiful souls free to rest in peace. After a decade behind bars in 2015, then New South Wales Governor David Hurley received a petition to review Ms Folbig's convictions based on forensic pathology findings, sparking an inquiry three years later when new scientific evidence was first presented. But the judge found the evidence as a whole only reinforced her guilt. Then, two years later, 90 scientists from around the world signed another petition. That prompted a second inquiry, when the Director of Public Prosecution finally conceded there was reasonable doubt. Leah Harris, ABC News, Sydney.